Welcome everyone. My name is Brett Drummond. I'm one of the co-founders of MS Translate. I just want to come to you today to uh, do a little bit of a research summary, but really it's just explaining how a remyelination therapy is working. We've talked about it a little bit on MS Translate before, but I wanted to do a little bit of an explainer video uh, on it. All right, so the paper that we're going to be talking about today is this one. So it was published in PNAS, which is a really highly impactful medical journal. Uh, it's work that's come out of the University of California, San Francisco. And the title of the research article uh, is Targeting the Muscarinic M1 Receptor with a Selective Brain Penetrant Antagonist to Promote Remyelination in Multiple Sclerosis. So a lot of big words in that, a lot of things um, that we don't really need to, to know about. But how you will have heard about this work uh, is through a new drug that's currently in clinical trials called PIPE 307. So PIPE 307 uh, is currently, as I said, in clinical trials in people living with relapsing remitting MS. And it's being tested for its ability to potentially repair myelin. So what we're going to do in this video is go through how it tries to do that. So alongside this research article, there was actually a commentary article that was also published in PNAS. Uh, they're all freely accessible. We'll put the links to those uh, in the comments below the video. Uh, but uh, essentially, they provided a really nice graphic with it, which I'm going to break down um, as part of this video. So as a starting point, this is the process that happens when myelin repair occurs, really for any reason, um, but also in multiple sclerosis. And so we know that early in the disease process, myelin repair happens, but we know that over time, the ability to repair the damage that occurs in MS uh, starts to drop off. It gets less effective, but essentially the natural process that occurs is, is this. So we have the damage to the myelin sheath, which you can see up here in the top graphic. So here we have uh, our nerve, here we have the axon um, along the nerves, and here along this bit is where we would usually have a nice healthy myelin sheath. In this image here, we can see that that's been damaged um, due to multiple sclerosis. But so... What happens when there is this loss of myelin is that we have cells called oligodendrocyte precursor cells, or OPCs, which you can see here. And these OPCs mature into adult cells, which are myelinating oligodendrocyte cells. Um, and so these are the cells that are responsible for then causing remyelination. So you can see here we now again have a healthy myelin sheath around this. So this is the normal process that occurs. And in terms of remyelination therapies, one of the biggest ways that's being looked at is how can we make sure that these the maturation of these cells still occurs because we know that that's one of the things that goes wrong in people living with MS over time. And so one of the things that's been identified as blocking this process is this M1R, the muscarinic receptor that was described in that title before. We don't need to know exactly what this is, but essentially we know that this M1R stops this process from happening. And so we don't get these OPCs maturing into myelinating oligodendrocyte cells, and so we don't get remyelination happening. And so very simply, what PIPE 307 does is that it blocks the function of this M1R. And so once M1R is blocked, then this process can happen again. The oligodendrocyte precursor cells, the OPCs, can mature into myelinating oligodendrocyte cells and remyelination can exist. So basically, it's like you need to get access into a house. There's a security guard blocking your access into that house. But if that security guard can get distracted, stop it from doing its function, you can then get inside. Same process here. There's something that's blocking cells from doing what they want to do. But if we can distract those cells, if we can block them from doing their job, uh, for, sorry, if we can stop M1R from doing its job, the cells can then 
go back to doing what they want to do, which is repair that myelin. And so that's how PIPE 307 is working. Clinical trials are currently underway, as we said, so we look forward to seeing the results of that. Preliminary results have been encouraging, but we have to wait to see what those clinical trials show uh, to tell us whether or not this will be a, a potential remyelination therapy for people living with, with MS. Thanks for listening. Hope that all made sense.